Hello lovely viewers, in today's video I'm going to share with you my journey on how I was able to treat ulcer without medication. Yes, you heard me right. I treated ulcer without medication and that is the story I'm going to share with you in today's video. I know a lot of you are suffering from ulcer, you have used so many drugs yet nothing seems to change. Don't worry, this video will be a game changer for you. So watch the video to the end. If today is your first time coming across this channel, all we do here is we promote the health benefits of the African herbs and also share with you healthy living tips. So subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and be notified anytime there is a new video. Like the video and share with all your family and friends. Alta has been with me for quite a very long time and during those years, anytime I eat, I vomit. Even when I drink water, I vomit it also. Sometimes also it takes me two to three days before I visit the restroom. And even when I do that, the stool is very hard. It was really discomforting and disturbing. And sometimes I feel this sharp abdominal pain, this sharp pain at my chest area. And also when I want to eat and be free from pain, then I have to drink a little warm water wait for a while before taking the main meal. These were some of the challenges that I've been through just because of ulcer. But today as I'm seated here making this video, I want to tell you that I am 100% free from ulcer. My gut health has improved. That is why I'm urging you to watch this video to the end as I share my story and my journey on how I was able to achieve this. All right, so the lifestyle changes that I made, especially in my diet to become free from ulcer is I started practicing intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting simply means you as an individual skipping one of your meals during the day. You know, we've been made to believe that every healthy person should eat at least thrice a day, which is breakfast, lunch, and supper. Then in between the breakfast, lunch, and supper, you should snack. That is what we've been made to believe. But all these things put pressure on your gut and also uh, affect your gut health, leading to ulcer. So it is very important for you to practice intermittent fasting. And the best time for you to skip a meal is during breakfast. So for me, I always skip my breakfast and the time I eat my first meal is from 11 o'clock to 1 p.m. 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. That is the duration in which I take my first meal. And my first meal is always a heavy meal. And this intermittent fasting has been a game changer. So when I eat by 1 o'clock p.m., my last meal is taken around 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. And it is always a light meal, a very light meal. So I eat twice a day. I always skip breakfast and this has really helped improve my gut health. I will be making a video on this particular topic which is intermittent fasting, the health benefits of intermittent fasting and the best way to practice intermittent fasting. So just be part of this family by subscribing to the channel to watch my future videos. Then the second thing I did was I avoided anything sugar. Yes, you heard me right. I avoided anything sugar. So I don't know why up till now sugar is not classified as a poison. It should be. Yes, sugar is a poison which must be avoided. So I avoided taking sugar. I avoided taking beverages. I avoided taking fizzy drinks. I avoided energy drinks. Anything sugar, I always avoid it. Then also... I avoided anything made with wheat or flour. Yes, anything made with wheat or flour. I also avoided that. Some of them are spaghetti, indomie, bread, etc. I avoided all those things. The number three practice is I increase my water consumption. Yes, I increase my water consumption. You know, I was discussing this with a group of people uh, some few days ago and then they were asking so if you take your breakfast or if you eat your first meal uh, around 11 to 1 then what have you been doing 
from morning till that time. And then I told them, I drink water. Yes, I drink water. So when I wake up in the morning, I drink, you know, herbal tea. I make tea with lemongrass. I make tea with ginger. I make tea with negro pepper. I make tea with cayenne pepper. I make tea with moringa leaves. And that is what I drink. Then during the day, I drink enough water. And this has really helped me. It has really helped me. So drinking enough water is also a game changer in my ulcer treatment journey. Then also, I increased my egg consumption. Yes, at first I wasn't eating egg because I was made to believe that eating egg, you know, helped to increase your cholesterol level. But then egg is a powerhouse for protein and you can eat any amount during the day. So for me, I always eat at least five eggs in a day, five eggs in a day. And this has really helped me. So I increase my water consumption and I increase my egg consumption. This has really helped me. The number four practice is I avoided eating from outside. I always keep saying that for you to be sure about the kind of food that you are feeding your body with, you should cook your own meal. When you eat outside, you are not sure about the things or the ingredients that are used in preparing those food. And sometimes eating from outside can cause other medical conditions. So I stopped purchasing food from outside and I started preparing my own meal at home. And this has really helped me. So when I'm preparing my meal at home, I always try as much as possible to avoid the use of these artificial spices. I'll be making a video on why you should stop eating artificial spices. So I always avoid using artificial spices. I focus on using natural spices like iodine fruits, which we call precursor. I use ginger, I use garlic, I use onion, I use cayenne pepper, I use negro pepper, I use cloves, and I use bay leaves, etc. There are a lot of natural spices which you can use to, you know, add taste to your food. And that is what I've been using in my ulcer treatment journey. And it has really worked perfectly. A change that I have also made uh, anytime I'm preparing a meal is I stopped using seed oils and the dehydrogenated uh, so-called vegetable oils. And then I started using, you know, coconut oil, organic virgin coconut oil. That is what I always use. You can also use olive oil. Those are the healthy cooking oils that we should be eating. So I always use coconut oil in preparing my meals and this has really helped me. So I avoided eating outside and I started cooking my own meal. I avoided the use of artificial spices and I started making use of the natural spices and also avoided the use of seed oils and vegetable oils and I started making use of coconut oil and sometimes olive oil. So these are the four practices that I was able to do in order to be free from ulcer. The number one is intermittent fasting. That is you skipping one of your meals during the day, especially breakfast. Number two, you avoiding sugar and anything made with sugar and also avoiding anything made with flour and wheat, especially bread, noodles, which is spaghetti and indomie. And then number three, you should increase your water consumption and also increase your egg consumption. Then the last one, you should always avoid food or meals prepared outside. Always cook your own meal at home. It's very important. Now, when I started this journey, it was very challenging because all these things were my favorite. But then I knew what I wanted, so I was able to overcome it and I persevered. And today, I am free from ulcer. This is a living testimony. So if I can do it, you can also do it. It will be difficult from the very beginning, but always persevere and then give yourself time. You will be healed from ulcer. Now, with my experience on this ulcer treatment without medication, I now come to the realization that all medical conditions can be treated if you and I eat right. So it is very important for each and every one of us to eat right because food is the number one medicine. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. 
until i see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe if you are new and also like the video and share and also make sure you eat right exercise on daily basis visit the hospital on a regular basis and eat lots of fruits and vegetables peace